What's going on, Arrow Up? Let me cut this echo off. What's up, everybody? It's your boy ADNS All Day, and I'm here to do the review for SmackDown for February 3rd, 2023. The headline for the night was Reigns' response to Zayn attack by vowing to break him a WWE Elimination Chamber. Well, break him at. Okay, so that's what he was saying. It was so much going on last night, but I'm definitely going to read the rest of that. And I guess let's just get into it, and I'll tell y'all what I think, man. And also, before I get into it with the Braun Strowman and Ricochet match, I just wanted to just shout out, you know, and the people that's been coming through and supporting. I really appreciate it, you know. And we hit over a 1,000 views yesterday, so that was pretty cool to get a stream, you know, over a 1,000 for doing last night's SmackDown. So that was cool. Sure, let's keep trying to push it forward. You know, let's try to make it more. Let's let's keep it going, you know. I did take that little break last Monday, but it happens. You know, I've been pretty consistent. But all right. The show started with Braun Strowman and Ricochet defeating Imperium to win the SmackDown Tag Team Title Contenders Tournament and earn the right to challenge the Usos. So, this match was, like, overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, Ricochet, Braun Strowman versus Imperium, you don't see that too often. I was kind of into the match a little bit. I mean, I am, like, a big Ricochet fan. But um, I do feel like the match was a little long. Like, this match went over 20 minutes. You know, it could have maybe been, like, 12 to 15, maybe. I mean, I knew the outcome was a little predictable. Like, I never expected Imperium to win this. You know, Braun Strowman, again, he's been getting mad pushes ever since he's been around, you know. So as you got so you kind of got to expect Braun to win, you know. I mean, yeah, he lost that one little time to Gunther, but as you can see, he's, he's still being lined up right for it. You know, he still stared him down outside the ring before Gunther got tossed because Gunther, Gunther did get tossed this match. Even though Ricochet pushed him first. And then Gunther just retaliated. And then he got caught. And then they just tossed him out. So, yeah. Um, And another thing was that that landing from Ricochet at the end. When he did the spot jumping off Braun's shoulders. Which he's been doing lately. But this time he landed kind of strong on Kaiser, man. I seen that land. I don't I don't think that landed was how he wanted it to go because he just came down so hard. And then he came down like all body. Like, you know, sometimes they try to move the legs or a certain part of the body up a little bit. It's like he just came crashing down, kind of like when he do his little 720 or the 450 or whatever. Man, or the 720. He be coming down wild sometimes, but I still like Ricochet though. But all right, they won that. They won that. So that's so that add also that added more into the episode because the episode began with them not showing Jay and them not knowing where Jay is when they got out the car. So but now Jay and Jimmy have a match set up. So more into the mystery. It's like okay, you not there, but you got some stuff going on. Then we had Charlotte Flair defeat Sonya Deville for the SmackDown Women's title match. This, I'm sorry, this was just boring, man. This was not good at all. I think a lot of people are tired of Charlotte. Like, why bring Charlotte back just to be going against a Sonya who's not really up there? Like, everybody knows Charlotte is going to beat her. And then you had her lose right out the gate. But it, it, this just doesn't make no sense. Like, why is Sonya getting all this push? I mean, I know she keeps losing, but you're still giving her a lot of time compared to someone else when you know she's just going to lose. And she's already lost multiple times. I mean, you literally sent her on Raw to get beat up by Bianca and lose to her as well. It's like, so why should you have another title shot? This just makes no sense. It's like it almost makes me feel like you don't want to push it too far with charlotte but this is just playing it way too safe because it's boring you know i wasn't really interested i didn't even want to watch this match really because i already knew you know what was gonna happen and, and it's sonya like sonya ain't got nothing going on we want to see a real match we would have been way happier to see Rhea come out and maybe you know target charlotte like yeah that's now that would have probably had me happy like okay and i think other people would enjoy that i know it's coming but dang we ain't, i guess we ain't getting that yet we had to deal with this again then we had the viking raiders defeat the brawling brutes 
Now, this was a tag match, right? The tournament is over, so this match was just kind of thrown in there, right? Yeah. I mean, I was a little interested in this match, though, because, again, I don't really see the Brutes go against the Viking Raiders. You just don't see that like that. And then, you know, High Ridge Holland and Butch, they've been kind of doing their own thing lately since Seamus and Drew McIntyre kind of teamed up. But it was an interesting match, though, just seeing them going back. You know, people like Bush. I like Bush, too. Viking Raiders tried to do some things. You know Viking Raiders had that one girl on her team, on their team who can interfere. I forget her name. Let me see. Is she up here? Damn, they don't even got her up here. Because I be forgetting her name. They got her. They didn't. That's funny. Like, she was up here last time. Now she's not up there. Right, there goes Ivar and Eric. But, hmm. Well, anyways, she didn't really do too much interference. And the Brutes, the Raiders won clean, yo. Now, that was a surprise. Like, wow, I thought the Brutes was going to do it. Like, nope, Raiders won clean. Like, pretty clean. So, wow, that was a little shocker. Um, And then afterwards, yeah, Drew and Sheamus attacked them afterwards when they was walking back up the ramp. And it's funny because I was thinking about them. I'm like, where are they at? What, what's been going on with them? Well, there you go. Um, then you had a fatal four way match to earn the right to compete in the elimination chamber match for the raw women's title opportunity at WrestleMania. And this caught me by some surprise too, because it was Zelina Vega, Natalia, Shotzi and Shayna. Like I was kind of leaning towards Shayna cause they, you know, ever since Ronda left, they haven't been doing much with her. Maybe Zelina. Uh, some people were saying Zelina because they ain't really, you know, been doing much with Zelina either besides her group. But believe it or not, y'all, Natalia won that match. Like, she won it, man. Hey, I like Natalia. I'm surprised, though. I was not expecting that. So that was another little surprise for the night. Like, Natalia wins, and she will be the, in the Elimination Chamber. Apparently, Raquel is in there, too. I know Raquel is definitely going to have her more time coming. I know Raquel's time is coming soon where Raquel's going to definitely have some title shots and opportunities and, and probably win it. Uh, then they had a little skit where Rey Mysterio raced Dominic en route to Sunday's class at the Coliseum on Fox, which is like a racing thing for Fox. Well, this was a funny, weird but funny skit. And they had um, Ray with the new day and then judgment day showed up they got to talking all that smack talking mess and then it, ended up, it was finna be a fight but then it ended up turning into a race so they ended up racing and whatnot which was kind of fun i mean i do i will admit this this scene was a little com commercial and a little over the top but it was still fun it was still entertaining and Rey Mysterio won at the end. Ha ha, take that, Dominic. Because you know Dominic was talking smack the whole time. Talking about what he done learned from jail. And what he done did. And all of this stuff. I'm looking at these side promos. Yeah, that's what happened too. Because they it was like to another moment where roman was asking like where is he jimmy and them like i don't know then he told him to go look for him he couldn't find him so no word from jimmy at all or sammy neither one being seen and then that's when roman was like okay well y'all can take some time off i'm just gonna do this on my own you know he like i'm finna come out there so he ended up now let me get to this i'm jumping the gun a little bit because Sami Zayn interrupted Roman Reigns during his state of the bloodline with a vicious attack on the head of the table. Now, I'm not, I'm going to try my best not to drag this out too long because my reaction for the live stream was pretty good. And I'll connect that because it really kind of tells you how I feel about it. But Roman came out. He got to talking about, you know, you know, Roman acknowledged me, talking all this smack, talking about Sammy, this, 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 and that. It was really crazy because Roman had a shirt on with no bloodline on it, though. It was just him and Paul. So I'm like, is that a sign, you know, telling us what's going to happen in the future where they're not really going to be together like that no more? Well, this is what ended up happening. Sammy ends up coming out of nowhere in a black hoodie, just like he did last week on SmackDown when he wasn't supposed to be there. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, Sammy doesn't follow no orders, doesn't do nothing. How? Why is Sammy start one? Like, I just don't understand this. Like, you do all of this over Kevin Owens. That is proof that you were never down with the group. You were a snake. And I just don't understand why 
people and then like so this is what happened he came out he ended up bombing on um roman getting some shots in he went for the chair he was finna crack him with the chair, but then he ended up rolling out the ring. So he didn't he didn't hit Roman, but he did get some shots off on him though. And then that's when Sammy grabbed the mic and got the sand, a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, let me just read. Oh damn, they didn't even write it. Normally they write it. Mm. Well, I guess I'll just tell y'all what happened. Cause I wanted to see what they how they wrote it. But um afterwards, you know, Sammy was all mad and heated, like, oh, uh, uh, showing all this aggression. And it kind of, like, bothered me. It's like you're proving my point of who you really truly were. Like, you never wanted to fight Kevin Owens. You Kevin Owens was beating up your homeboys. You, you saved him by hitting Roman in the back with a chair. Like, come on, man. You clearly went against the group's rules. And now all of a sudden you want to act all bucking hard like you tough on Roman now all of a sudden. But you wasn't doing that to damn near nobody else this whole time you were on the bloodline. Like this whole time. He's literally been the weakest link, barely doing any other work. Barely. And we seen what happened with him and Kevin Owens. We seen how he didn't want to fight him and do nothing to him. Even though he had clear opportunity to do it. Everybody else was going to do it. But why he ain't want to do it. But he's supposed to be a part of the group. So now, all of a sudden, now he gets to get the act like he gets the upper hand. And then what made it even more crazier is Sammy actually hit a spear. Like, come on. Like, I'm tired of this. Like, he's still in moves like clout chasing. First, you stole a 3D. New for clout. Now you're still in Roman Spear. Ooh, for clout. It shows how Sammy is not really that great of a character and does not deserve a title run. If he and it's not like he's stealing moves because it was cool. You're just stealing them for clout. Cause you know moves that you do won't be as popping. Or you apparently can't, they don't want no new moves for you. So let's steal this stuff like you've been doing since day one. Like I've been saying, he's been doing nothing but trying to steal what they got. That's why that's called clout chasing. Trying to steal people's shit. Stealing their fame. Stealing their clout. Stealing their moves. Stealing you from your family. Which he's pretty much doing now since jay is gone and remember i told you i never liked how they wrote jay like that y'all made dre act like a brainless idiot through this whole feud come on now y'all made him act like he had no sense which i don't like y'all were even doing this to roman for a long good time and then all of a sudden roman started getting some sense again but it started happening when mugs was all up Sami Zayn, acting like what was he gonna do you know but anyways, so Roman, he leaves, and then out of nowhere, that's when Jimmy and Solo run in the ring and attack Sammy, and they just end up jumping Sammy, and then they was finna wrap the chair around his neck. Solo was finna hit him with the hip like he done done to so many people to take so many people out. He was finna do it to him, and then Roman stopped him. And then grab the chair and just start talking hella mess. Like, I ain't like that either. Like, y'all could have took Sammy out right there and moved on to something better right there. No, nah, I'm going to take the chair off and get in your face and slap you around and talk mess. And, I mean, I understand it's Roman, but Solo could have did that damn thing, though, man. He was finna do it. So, that shocked me, though. Like, because it's like, okay, Jimmy... And Solo still taking Roman's side, though. So it's like, damn. And, and yeah, he didn't get the chair moved, but he still got beat up. Sammy definitely got beat up. Definitely. And it ended badly. And now saying you're going to see him at Elimination Chamber? In a title match. Oh, my gosh. So he's going to. Oh, my gosh. So he's going to have a title match upcoming. That's like two weeks from now. Wow. So Sami Zayn gets a title shot. See what I be saying? Like this whole bill with him was foul. Now he gets shots at the title now? Wow. Uh, wrestling just ain't the same no more, man. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I don't expect him to win, though. Even even with all of this fake push, I still do not expect Sammy to win. Unless they want to try to pull some stuff to split the titles up. Mm -hmm. But um, another thing is they might hold 
Jay back. Right? That's something else they can do. Just just hide Jay away and don't have Jay come out or know what Jay is going to do until the pay-per-view. And he can come out and help Sammy win. But then again, we got a whole title match coming next week. So we got to see Jay by next Friday. We might even see him on Raw this Monday. So something to think about. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, though. This show was a little bit better, though, than some of the stuff I've been seeing a little bit lately. I might actually come muster out a three out of five for this episode. Let me see. Yeah, I'll say three out of five. This was a little bit better than some of the other stuff they've been doing, though. So thanks, y'all, for watching. I totally appreciate it. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will be seeing y'all guys on the later tip. Peace out.